Twain said a lie will get halfway around the world before the truth has time to pull its boots on. That was literally the case in the story we didn't pay enough attention to in 2010. President Obama was scheduled to travel to Mumbai to meet with the Indian Prime Minister about loosening U.S. trade restrictions, a successful trip that would net our country $10 billion in export deals and 50,000 jobs. And these overseas trips routinely cost in the area of $5 million hey. a day. Hey. But on November 2nd of last year, the website for New Delhi TV quoted an anonymous official of the Maharashtra government saying that President Obama's trip would be costing $200 million a day. The Drudge Report posts a link to the story, either believing it to be possible or not caring that it isn't. Rush Limbaugh knows this figure can't possibly be right, but Mr. Limbaugh runs with it anyway. 507 rooms at Taj Mahal, four of uh, 40 airplanes, $200 million a day. This nation will spend on Obama's trip to India. In spite of there being no source for this information, to say nothing of the absurdity of the figure, Fox News grabs the baton. Ready, SOT-1. So he's traveling with 34 warships, an entourage... Oh, yeah. And he added 34 warships, or 14% of the U.S. Navy. So he's traveling with 34 warships, an entourage of 3,000 people. Nope. He's staying at the Taj Mahal Hotel, which they have booked every single room in. And he's doing it $2 billion for 10 days. Why? So on November 3rd, Matt Larich of the Office of White House Media Affairs says, the numbers reported in this article have no basis in reality. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, founder of the Tea Party Caucus, who herself has a difficult relationship with reality, ignores the statement from the White House. I think we know that just within a day or so, the President of the United States will be taking a trip over to India that is expected to cost the taxpayers $200 million a day. I think people who willfully, purposefully, and gleefully lie to the American people in order to damage someone's reputation should, like a registered sex offender, be required by law to come with that warning label for the rest of their lives.